Welcome to Erdoa, Masters of the Broken World. Tips and tricks, today's special, the way of the warrior. The warrior is a special hero class, as you see here. Normally he's the second hero you buy, because first you buy a scout, scout around with a scout and find some armor, some weapons, then buy a warrior, equip him and then he can go off alone and beard knee beat up nearly every single or normal target without problems, rise in levels and then can slaughter a whole army alone. There are maps where a warrior is a good choice as first hero. On the maps that have a very low income, he's very good because he can operate on himself with very low costs and very low cost units if necessary. He's very good on maps that have a lot of wood since he can see cover and for example scouts are not that effective on wood maps as they can move through wood themselves but the enemy is protected from the arrows by the woods and so the scout can deal not so much damage. A warrior is not good on maps or shards that are worlds of rust as his um, uh, uh, equipment deteriorates too fast or on maps that have a high uh, stamina problem, for example desert shards. You get out of stamina, they are very very fast. For a warrior it's quite important what his starting skill is. It's not important for scouts, it is at least not important for commanders, it's a little bit important for wizards they are the spells are more important, but that's get uh, they get a special let's play. Uh, for the warrior, there are a few starting skills, and there is one that I particularly like. Well, we did not get that. We get armor master, but that's okay. Armor master is not bad. We get rid of that guy, and now the first thing a warrior needs is armor. There are two ways to get armor. First is this one, but you will have to build two buildings and this building to get it and that's not cost effective. You build this building and then you get a medium armor that has plus two plus two plus two instead of plus three plus three for about four times the price. We get a spear that's not my preferred weapon but okay we'll deal with that. We'll search around for one round since our Warrior needs another thing to be quite effective. Five goblins, not yet my friend. We need a library, since warriors are quite good spellcasters. You would not believe that, but it's the case. So let's have a look. What we need here is fortitude for starters. So if we were on a map with absolutely no reasonable income, we would build no troops at all. Our warrior will have to fight on his own, as hard as it sounds. On this map we can try to give him some units and for that reason we're building the cheapest units that are available and that are the... where are they? Here they are, the slingers. They are ranged fighters and they can support the warrior with their stones. Slingers are very cost effective, only 15 gold to buy, only 3 gold to upkeep, so that is the second cheap unit you can you can have. By the way, they're not doing very much damage, they're not shooting very far, but they have a lot of ammunition. If somebody buys them time, for example a warrior, they can do very very good. So let's have a turn, approach the adventurers, talk to the adventurers, well, let's try to get the half of the loot, but I think they will kick our asses. No, they will not. They give us a lot of money and they give us an armor. Well, this is very unexceptional. For that reason, we will not equip this armor this time, because I want to show you what to do if you do not get this. So, we'll buy them. And then we'll buy us two more of that kind. And then let's get off for that free settlement and look what we have as a target. Four, that's quite okay. So, our place is not on the hill for starters. On the starters, we are here. Why? Because we need protection from enemy ranged fighters. And you can bet your ass off that they place their ranged fighters on here. So ours go here 
and let's weaken them. You see, when the enemy loses his stamina, his attack powers decrease exponentially. Most warriors die on a leak of stamina. So we could fire magic arrows at him. Yes, we could. We do 1 to 3 damage, F to 4 damage, reduced by 1. So normally we will do 2 damage or 3. This will not hurt him. With this stamina, he would not be able to do any more damage, I think. See that? Marvelous. So, now we can start shooting him. And so we do. And the moment he arrives, he will be nearly dead. Wonderful. Just nail the guy. So, we will now do our best. Very good. It's very important that our warrior gets the kills, if possible. Okay, he was not able to get that kill, but I think he will be able to get the last kill. So, we go down here. And you see, we have still one left. And it costs no crystals at all. So you better rest. You keep on firing on him, weakening him the best way you can. No, they may kill him. We do not want him to be killed. We want to kill him with our warrior, because he needs the experience points. And we did it. Marvelously. You see? No problem at all. There's another free settlement. We could go for that now. But I think we keep exploring here. For No, we're going back to explore. Because... Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Send volunteers. Create a golem. No, actually we don't need that this gems at the moment. So we can rest easily. And we know one of our guys is quite badly hurt. I think it's this one. Well, he's not quite badly hurt, to be real honest. They are quite okay. Let's have a look here. We have enough money to buy another School of Wizardy, and we will buy that one because of the armor bonus. And now we will trade one of ours for an armor. Still, we are not using our find armor because I want to demonstrate how to use a warrior effectively. So, let's have a look. Six. This is a lot. I'm not sure we can do this, but we'll try. So, you see there are lots of woods. We place ourselves there. Let's see what they have to offer. Why are we not standing um, right beside our man? Because we want to intercept the enemy. Oh, they're coming right at us, are they? I think we should move a little back. And exhaust him. So he will not be able to do that much damage. You can be sure if we move now, we will be attacked by him. But there's nothing we can do about that, actually. Is he? No, he's not. Okay, then well, let's get a little bit out of his way. So, what to do now? Now we push up our defenses. See, as you can bet your ass off that they will be all over us next second. We will lose some of these guys now, but that's not a problem, as they're not expensive. And he needs the experience points. Look at his armor, he should be able to survive any attack they could stack. He's doing good. The only problem is he's running out of stamina at the moment. 
fire. Um, move one here. Fire. And you. Fire. Very good. And you take out that guy. Oh, you're not even able to do that. That's horrible. That's the problem with the warrior. He's not able to protect his own man. And now he should rest. Never let your warrior be out of stamina. Because if that happens, if that happens, he's dead. The moment your stamina is below... Zero or at zero, you will take X potentially damage. Yeah, they're killing them all. I've had the chance to attack him, but I do not want to. I want to keep my um, experience for the warrior. So, let's finish on that guy. You see, he's doing good. He will be out of stamina soon, and so he will not be able to do any damage. So, we're doing good. Rest. Slay him. Good. We lost three units, yes. We did not get enough money to buy more than two of them, but that's okay. We got a level up, that's what we wanted. And we get more armor and defense. Okay, this is... Not good for the moral, so we can go back. We need some resting now. So, we are nearly at full strength again, so we rest once more. What is a good target for a warrior? What is a bad target for a warrior, for starters? Well, for starters, orcs are bad targets because they lower his armor class, and the armor class is the thing that a warrior lives for. And barbarians are a bad starting on enemy for barbar for warriors because they do enough damage to overcome the armor. So, how is he? He's still learning. So, we buy him three more. Let's see if there's something we can knock over. Brigands, goblins, undead. Brigands sh could be possible. Let's have a look. He's quite good. The main problem is the enemy bowman. But I think we can handle that bowman quite well. So, let's have a look. Yes, they're closing in. And they're quite good at doing so. We better tape a st take a step back. And move here. And power up our armor. Now you see the problem with with the slingers is, or with the army of a warrior is, that he cannot effectively protect them from harm. The enemy is always coming through. There's not really something you can do about that. So if we can do nothing about that, we can at least try to make some damage with our slingers before they die. And that's what we, what we have in mind. So. So, very good. He does us a favor. Why not attack him? 
he's in the in the swamps. Yes, he is, but and that's the point. He will throw things at us and we do not have a counter attack against thieves attack, so he must die first. He is no longer a problem, he's not able to do any more damage and our armor will protect us. So now the only thing we can do is try to get out it on with losing only one slinger. And that could be possible. Depending on how good we do. Well, maybe it's not possible because he will run here and try to kill him. No, he's not. Shall we kill him? Yeah, just do it. Yay, and we only lose one slinger. And the money for that we have in again. And we get another, another level up and we of course take range defense. Burn ammo, that's a good spell. Not especially a good spell for a warrior, but it could be okay. Now that is lucky. That's a, a perfect start for a warrior, you see. We repair our gear and now let's only estimate, yeah, we would activate that weapons and that armor and all that crap. You see, now put down these two, we do not need them. For example, let's attack the goblins. Just for show. Just to show you with the starting equipment that we now have how incredible evil we can be. Well, five minutes might not be a big army, but look what we are using to get them down uh, under an economic view. I will move once, power up my armor, now I've got an armor that is nearly impractical for them to go come through. We'll be slaughtering them, as simple as that. Their only hope is that we run out of stamina. But we will not, they will run out of life before we do that. Oh. And done. See? Absolutely no problem. And from this point on, when you've passed a certain point with the warrior, when his armor class rises to a certain level, you can defeat numerous enemies without problems. There's only one more spell you need to be happy and that is this one, Astral Energy. These are the two spells, Astral Energy and Armor. That's the one you need. The rest is nice to have but is not as important. You can do nice things with fear if you want to. You can do nice things with Burn Ammo or with Vulnerability or with air shield, but the two spells you need as a warrior is astral energy to do something against your stamina loss, loss and magic armor, and that's all you need. This is very gem effective, this is very cost effective, this is, the warrior is a very, very capable guy. To demonstrate you that, we can attack the barbarians. Let's see. Not sure already, but I think we can. They have a shaman with them. This is a little bit different because shamans are able to do a hell of a damage to people that have no magic protection as we have no magic protection. You must be totally aware of the fact that we can do nothing useful against that. What is his attack power? 9. What is his stamina? 
12. Funny thing is, barbarians are immune to moral breaking effects in most cases, but they're not immune. And done. No, they're just dying. See? Even barbarians, no chance. So. Three barbarians, no problemo. All dead. This is the worst skill to start with. Does not help you in any case. This is the worst skill to start with. It's not bad, but it does not help you really. And that one is also not very good. So the only thing here good is the second one. Precooperation. This will help you to regain stamina faster when you take the tent in the battle to regain uh, stamina. But in all other cases it's not that useful. And starting first for a warrior is also not that important. What is there more to know about a warrior? If you have a warrior, your first priority after getting a decent armor is getting your resistances up. If you fight enemy warriors, they always have a miserable resistance. Web them, fortitude them, panic them with terror, whatever you like, they will be easy pickings. Warriors might be totally awesome killing machines in points of damage output and life points. But most computer, um, computer controlled warriors are simply dead meat on the battlefield because they do not have the resistance to defend themselves. So if you're up against warriors, cast things, cast things, even the level zero spells, even with the fortitude spell with this one, you can kill a high level warrior without problems. So, for gear, take equipment that gives armor class, take equipment that gives stamina. Equipment that gives parry is also welcome. This hit point thing does not make a great difference, to be real honest. Moral is okay, but also did not make a uh, great difference by his moral standards. Important is attack, armor class, and parry. Well, that's the warrior. If you have any more questions, I'll be glad to show you. Until, until then, see you next time.